we have enormous amounts of very mixed uh, textile and we need to separate those um, according to fiber uh, in, or, in order for the recycling processes to work. So we need to sort and we need to do it fast and we need to do it with a great accuracy and that has to be done automatically. We tip it into the machine. It is distributed evenly on conveyor belts. And then we use near infrared lights and visual spectroscopy. Um, and it's the same technique that you use on plastics. Uh, so the near infrared light, it illuminates the fabric, it bounces up and this happens really quick. Uh, and the machine can, can, uh, can tell us exactly what fiber composition. So what we have in the end uh, are bales uh, with a certain purity. For example, 95% um, cotton which can be, can be chemically recycled in the next step. It's here we feed in all the materials and then they're gonna uh, pass through four different um, cleaning processes um, where you try to sort out the different fabrics. Um, so we, for example, would like to find uh, clothes that consist of 95% cotton or 50% uh, acrylic. In the Ziplex facility right now, we can handle 4.5 tons uh, per hour. But of course, everything needs to scale if the recycling uh, industry is, is going to make it here. And we're going to meet the goals that was set up by the European Union. So this is, the first, this is the first facility of its kind, but it's definitely not the last. We will need a lot more automated sorting uh, capacity in Europe. The next step is to uh, get the, the different uh, clothes companies to understand that they need to use uh, circulated material instead of virgin. So I think that it will be step by step. And, but further on, I think we'll be more, more, take more care about the virgin products and try to solve and uh, create new clothes that when you think the right thing at the start. So it's important that all, everyone is thinking the right way so try to make all the textile as circular as possible. It's going out, out. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. So you start with the most important thing, which is the heart? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's a widespread idea that recycling of fibers is equal to circular economy. But circular economy demands that you have very high quality textiles, very high quality products that can be recycled again and again for a very long time, which we don't have at the moment. So what we are doing now is that we're taking very low quality textiles and products and turning them into some new low quality uh, textiles, which doesn't make sense. And, and even worse, we make like an excuse to continue the huge volumes, the huge speed of the industry, which is the core problem, that we simply make too much, too cheap and too low quality.